Idaho's first responders often see and deal with emergencies so horrific that they can have lasting psychological impacts. Other states are taking action to address those mental health issues that our heroes sustain on the job. And now there's a push in Idaho to follow suit. And today at Meridian Town Hall, first responders gather to discuss why the GEM state needs to act right now. Our Gretchen Parsons attended that town hall and is here with more. Gretchen. Mark and Kim, research shows that more first responders die by suicide than in the line of duty. Today's discussion was focused on creating more support and resources for these workers so it never has to come to that. A lot of the times when I hang up with a caller, I try and let it go. Becky Justice is a 911 dispatcher at the Nampa Police Department. Call after call. We'll take one call where uh, two parents are fighting or two individuals are fighting and it's very heated and I mean say it's an open line and we're listening to this this life-threatening fight and until our officers our brothers and sisters get on the scene we we really have no idea how what is you know, truly happening. It's these types of calls. Justice has trouble shaking off after she clocks out. That trauma doesn't go away for me. I went to counseling. I have taken medication for it. There's many things that I've had to do personally inside me. I had to decide that I, I wanted to move past it. When I was first hired, I thought I was 10 foot tall and bulletproof. Timothy Wanacott is a Boise firefighter. He too has sought counseling for what he's seen on the job. I, I had almost five months off. Uh, I used all my personal time uh, for that, my sick leave, my vacation leave. So I had to come back to work with very little time left, and that was accumulating over 15 years of service. Both Wanacott and Justice came to Sunday's town hall to drum up support for House Bill 1028, a measure that would financially cover costs for first responders with mental injuries sustained at work. Under current Idaho law, first responders are not covered for psychological injuries unless there is an accompanying physical injury. It would be amazing if this bill would pass. Sponsored by Democrat Matt Erpelding, HB 1028 unanimously passed through the Senate Committee on Commerce and Human Resources Thursday and is awaiting a vote on the Senate floor. Other states, such as Washington State, just recently passed a similar bill that extends workman, uh, workman's comp and coverage for psychological injuries sustained on the job. So we'll be uh, sure to follow this bill as it makes its way through. Kim. Very personal, very powerful mm -hmm. stories they shared with us tonight. And I especially liked hearing from the 911 dispatcher yeah. because we often forget, but they too are very much first responders and heroes, just like those out on the front lines. So Gretchen, thank you. And we'll continue to follow this as it develops at the State House.